Hello everyone, my name is Karina Lin and I am going to present about a photographer by the name of Guy Tall. He is also a writer and a teacher. About his background, he actually grew up in Israel up until the age of 26 and as a child he loves being in the outdoors. While he was in the military for the country Israel, he stumbled upon a book called The Desert Solitaire by Edward Abbey. And um, the books had fascinating landscape photos, articles, writings about the American West, and that includes Utah. Regarding his education background, he has a college education. He was an economics major. He started out as a website developer for a startup firm in Israel and then another startup firm in Silicon Valley. That's when he moved to United States. Then he became an IT manager. After that, he realized that there were greater things to experience and more meaningful ways to live than what Thoreau called a life of quiet desperation that most people simply accept for the sake of conformity and financial stability. He feels that many people stay in the same job, doing work that they're not passionate about uh, because they want stability, security, and pretty much uh, being financially stable. Some training he had was when he started out uh, as a teenager, he discovered photography and then have always been into photography as a hobbyist. Throughout his career, he built a strong portfolio and he got published in a few places. He also was featured in some photography forums and then he has stock photography where he makes some income from there. Again, as a child, he loved spending time being in the outdoors. And when he did that, he was taking macro wildlife and landscape photos of natural subject. Later in his adulthood, he developed an interest in taking pictures of the American West in fine art photography. Then he went into teaching and he really advocates teaching about creating original and meaningful work. More influences. Um, so um, a couple of philosophy he tends to carry in him that um, he feels the greatest reward of making art is making. And then art is an expression of the individual who makes it. There's always something to express. His wife is also a great influence in his work because she provides unwavering support and confidence in him. He admires certain photographers and does a lot of research on them. So that's Galen Rao, Art Wolf, because they love and have a passion for the places they photograph. Other photographers he admires include Ansel Adams, Elliot Porter, Minor White, Edward Weston, and Philip Hyde for opening his eyes to the creative and interpret powers of the medium. He also gets inspirations from American nature writers like Steiner, Lupul, Abbey, Muir, Thoreau, Emerson, etc. He also gets inspiration from his personal friends where he would have uh, discussions with them about his insights, and that's where they would provide him feedbacks and new ideas. He gets in inspirations from going on hikes and camping trips. He usually brings along a pad, a paper pad and a pen to capture fleeting thoughts and insights, and that's where it would expand to new ideas, both in images and writing. And then just living in Torrey, Utah, which he considered to be the most beautiful place in the world. And he's surrounded 
by everything that he loves and that seems to be enough for him to make a living and to be happy and to be successful in his own eyes. More about uh, influences. So he really advocates where if the individual have the ability to produce original personal work that uniquely represents the personal be the person behind it and that he feels to get to this point at this level you have to really work at it work hard at it at, at what you want and be passionate about it and be dedicated to it regarding his uh, photographic work um he gets inspirations you know he's into landscape photography and he likes to take photos and express them in artistic ways and um you know he when he moved to Torrey Utah he set up a business the model was um to provide writing teaching and speaking about photography and um he tries to pursue his photography as his art so he, he doesn't take any kind of commercial assignments or put his images on for sales at the center of his business model. When you look at this side photo here, it does give a creative and artistic aspects of the landscape. And that's the tone and mood of all of his photos. It looks like a very creative painting of the landscape. He sells his photos, landscape photos, to other photographers, and he writes for magazines, published books, travels two months in a year, in each year, to do work, to deliver workshops, speaking engagements. He has 26,000 followers on Facebook, and he has a robust email list. So this, is, this was mentioned in this current, this article, but it could be more today. Like he has more followers or something. Um, his works themes include photography to enhance your life. Again, he loves teaching and writings. And he feels it's important to show how to visually, when he teaches, he wants to show you how to visually express art. And then if you want to express art, he feels that it's important that you incorporate through your life experiences. He feels creative photography is not easy, so he is an avid reader in the subject area of science, natural history, art, and travel. He goes out and actually lives in the outdoors, do camping and hiking to experience and to take photos. He express um, to be. He feels that to be an, an expressive artist, a person must have experience with expressing for. So being outside, communing with the natural world, exploring, observing, and everything coalesce into the photography. I chose this photographer to present because um, I was looking at various photographers in their bio on the internet um, by Googling and searching su successful photographers. And he came up as one of the photographers. And I was looking at his photos and other photographers' photos. And I really gravitate toward his photos because uh, he was able to capture the landscape pictures and express them to make it look like, a, like an artistic painting or something. And I thought that was really very artistic and creative. And then when I got further into doing research, uh, reading about his vision and his philosophy, it seems to be, you know, something I would be in tune and respect for. You know, he, he advocates for doing original work and being altruistic sharing your work through teaching and writing. And he's very self-aware of himself, about himself very at an early age during his teenage years. So he knows exactly what he needs to do 
to pursue to do what he loves and what makes him happy and most people cannot do that so I really admire that um, also he's a risk taker and he likes to express art coming from within and express through photography as a medium and then through writing and teaching these are the three references that I have found for this presentation. It's online.